Hey, oh my gosh, I think I'm live. You guys, I'm going live from my desktop, which is super cool. I have never gone live from my desktop. I have no clue if I'm going to be able to see who is here with me. Um, so I'm going to check my phone and I'm going to see if this is working. So this is super, super new. new. Do you believe I've never went live from my desktop, you guys? Like, this is crazy. Um, so I'm just checking into my phone. I see some of you. Oh, hey, Bonnie, what's up? Lady, how are you? Good morning, everybody, or afternoon, or I don't know. I guess it's night and uh, getting towards the nighttime in the UK. Um, hey, guys, how are you? I'm, I'm at my desk because, oh, yay. How fun. You guys, I've never gone live from my desktop. This is, I'm sorry, this is totally cool. And um, so anyways, what's up, guys? I am actually prepping um, on being interviewed today, which is super, super cool. Um, there's a wonderful woman out there, uh, Shana Rucker, and she, I think her business is uh, the Girlfriend's Guide to Network Marketing, and she is uh, interviewing Ma on her podcast. So how fun. So I love this business is because we meet such like really amazing, very, very cool um, women. And so I'm very excited about that. Um, hey guys, as you guys are probably, hey Allison, what's up girlfriend? How are you? Hi Michelle, I hope you're feeling better, sister. What's up Amy? Hey, hey, so yeah, so you guys are um, popping in. Let me know where you're tuning in from. Let me know what part of the world, and uh, please say hello. If you're new to who I am, Julie Burke, just drop a uh, hashtag new in the comments, and I will make sure to send you a free gift. Um, and if you're on the replay, put hashtag replay, and of course, give me hearts because I love hearts, and of course, uh, smash the share button and share because I'm going to be talking to you about attraction and persuasion, and two things. Don't look at my nails. Uh, like awful ladies how about it I'm going to get them done tomorrow I came home from the cruise uh, and then got sick and so these are like these bad boys are like three weeks out and definitely don't look at these bad boys because these are like bushes okay so now that we got that established and out of the way uh, I want to talk to you guys about something that <clears throat> in the space of network marketing in particular because um, well, let me back up. If you are new to me and you don't know my story, I'm going to quickly just share that. So I've been in network marketing for six years. Um, I grew a, a pretty successful team in my last company, transitioned to a new company last June. Uh, that's growing like wildfire. I work with the most amazing entrepreneurs on the planet. And really what I specialize in helping others do is really just grow their business online, uh, build your brand, grow your online presence, uh, gain more visibility, uh, learn attraction marketing, or I teach attraction marketing, um, because we don't necessarily want to be chasing down people, and we don't necessarily want to keep going after friends and family in our warm market, right? And so I teach, I teach you how to not do that. <laughs> um, and so... I've been in this network marketing game for, like I said, six years. And I'll tell you, um, if you guys are in network marketing, by the way, if you're on this broadcast, and uh, two things, if you do share it, let me know, just write share, and I will give you a shout out. But I do want to know if you're in network marketing. And, and I also want to know if, so if you're in network marketing, drop me a one, okay? Let me know you're in network marketing, okay? Also, if the word sales gets you kind of like creeped out, I need you to drop me some sort of emoji. Drop me like a poop emoji or something, right? Like, <laughs> because that's how people feel when they associate, you know, when they hear the word sales, they're like, oh, it's so crappy. I don't want to have to sell anything, okay? Um, so drop in an emoji, drop in a one. Okay, so lots of ones. Lee is in uh, network marketing. Joanne, Bonnie, Amy, Michael, Michelle says creepy. Okay, Michelle, I'm going to ask you, why do you feel that sales is creepy? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, attraction and persuasion 
means marketing and sales. Okay, so we have to understand that. So attraction is marketing and persuasion is sales. That's all it is. It's just like a more elegant term, right? Um, I know for me, I used to be um, like in network marketing and I would say, I'm not selling, I'm sharing. Have you guys ever said that? <laughs> it's so funny. You're like, I'm not selling, I'm just sharing. I'm sharing what I love. And that's, you guys, it's cool, but can we all just please drop that and just say what it is and we're, 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 we're selling and we're marketing. We're marketing ourselves and we're selling a product, a service, or an opportunity, you guys. Like that is what makes our business go around. This is what builds our business. So step number one is to get comfortable and say, I am selling and I am marketing and that is okay. Um, and, and so understand that marketing is um, attracting, I have my notes here, marketing is attracting what you want in your life and also repel what you don't want. And this is where I'm going to go back to where I talk about building a brand. It's not only important to, to build a brand, to build up your following and your credibility and to offer value. Um, and what I also say is building a brand is not just to attract the right people, but to also repel the people you don't want to work with. Because believe it or not, you guys, we do not want to work with everybody. Can we just give an amen to that? We do not want to work with everybody. We want to work with very specific people that we're actually wanting to spend our time with, right? Like the naysayers, the excuse makers, the people that we have to like, uh, what do, what did we always say? You have to don't want to, you don't want to push a wet noodle up a hill, right? Because you're just kind of like this and the noodle keeps breaking off, right? And anyways, it's like, we don't want to part, I don't want to partner. I like want to actually qualify people to know who I'm bringing in to the team and to my business, okay? So, and then selling is where you get people um, emotionally invested to take action and what you want them to take action in, okay? So do you want them to buy something? Do you want them to opt into something? Do you want them to watch something? What is it that you're selling? Sometimes we could just sell, not necessarily the product, but we're just selling to them to just watch the video, okay? And so marketing and selling yourself authentically is what makes it okay. So there's definitely um, a bad way to sell. Like, you could sell, you could sell in a really dirty way, okay? But I have a feeling that a lot of you on here are very genuine, you're very authentic, and to tell you the truth, you're selling to serve, okay? Um, so this shift that I made when I realized, like, okay, Julie, listen, I could keep walking around and saying, I'm just sharing, but, or... Or I can get really real and start saying, okay, Julie, let's learn, let's like actually learn marketing and sales. And what persuades people to take action? And so I did. I started reading books. I actually, instead of just reading personal development books, which personal development is important, I actually started studying sales and marketing. And um, what I could tell you is that, um, one of the greatest things you could do in the sales process is um, is to really, people want to be understood. They don't want you to understand them. They want to be understood. Does that make sense? Um, and so people will learn from you. People will love you. People will listen to you. People will buy you. And people will join you when they feel understood. And so that goes back to really talking about the emotional benefits that your prospect will gain if they try your product, if they join you, if they partner with you, what have you. you so one of the greatest things that you could do is two things. You can listen and be quiet and just ask really good questions, okay? Do you guys ask really good questions to your prospects? Do are most of you being silent or do you feel like you keep talking 
over them? Or do you feel like you're using the words I am me often? Like if you really listen to what you're saying with, with um, potential prospects, if you're using the word I and me way too much, you need to back off of that. Okay. You really start need, you, you want to start being more um, conscious and aware of the language that you're using and the positioning of your language and the positioning of the conversation. So start talking to them more about them and telling, telling them like, I really hear you. This is what I'm hearing from you. Um, is this something that has been a challenge for you? What else have you done? How else have you um, been able to lose weight? Uh, was that effective? You know, start asking them more questions. Does this make sense? Are you guys are you guys picking up what I'm putting down right now? Let me know. <laughs> show me some art. Show me some love. Um, so you want to understand like what is their pain? What is their struggle? Um, what is their fear? What is their doubts? Um, you know, um, why do they think that the why do they think the way that they do? Do you do you ask them that? You know, what are their stresses? What is what is keeping them up late at night? Um, what are their limiting beliefs? Their empowering beliefs? Um, what are their goals? What are their aspirations? What are their dreams? What are their desires? Make it about them because if you're asking them these questions. In there, they give you the answer, right? So if we listen, they give you the answer. Does that does that make sense? So I got really good at asking really good questions and doing more of um, learning how to position myself and market myself in a way. Um, I market my product in a way that explains a lot of the benefits, okay? And then the selling aspect is then when the person reaches out to me. So I put a post out there yesterday on my personal profile um, page, and I had about, I don't know, 14 people reach out to me that wanted to learn more about the product that I'm using. And so what did I do? I started asking them questions. I took it to a whole new level with them, okay? And that's what I'm saying. Like, that's what starts the relationship or the communication. Maybe you already have a relationship developed with them. But yet, further the communication in asking them questions. What is it that piqued your interest? What is it that you want to change about your hair or your skin? Um, and just start asking them the questions. And then I get further into, okay, now this is what I use. Um, and this is how I use it. And then I take that further, okay, into the sales process. And then the main thing is to get them to buy, right? And the way to get them to buy, you guys, guess what? So listen closely. Are you guys listening closely? If you want to know how they buy, draw me a yes. Give me a yes in the comment section if you want to know. I have about a half hour, so I can wait for the yeses. <laughs> to do this interview. I do. I have a half hour. Um, and I'm, I think I'm on a delay. Oh, it'd help if I scroll down because I'm on my desktop, guys. So I see the yeses listening. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, here. You ask them to buy. You ask them to purchase. You ask them to try it. Like, I know you've tried Jenny Craig and Weight Watchers and X, Y, and Z, but guess what? I heard what you said. You told me that you don't want another diet, that you don't want a meal prep, that you don't want to eat cardboard. Well, guess what? I have your solution right here. So will you try this for 30 days and give me your feedback? You have nothing to lose because we have a 30-day money-back guarantee. Bam. You have to ask them to buy, you guys. Okay, and so then let's talk about the opportunity because I get this. Well, I don't want to be pushy with the opportunity. Use this sentence. I use this sentence and it works like a charm, okay? Um, I am obligated to share this with you. That's it. I am obligated to share this with you. I don't know where you're at in your life right now, but I know when I asked you what your dreams were and your desires, it was that you told me that you wanted to break out of this nine to five. It was that you wanted to be there to pick up your child from daycare. It was that you actually wanted to get a meal on the table and not just be stuck in traffic for two hours in your commute home. 
So guess what? You share that with me. So now I have to share this with you because I'm obligated to share this with you or else you wouldn't even know that there's an opportunity here to help you break out of what you're sitting in right now, which sounds really crappy, right? You guys, does that all make sense? Do you guys like that? Is that like a good way? Do you guys feel good about that? Because I will tell you right now, um, when I share it in that way, I am already discovered what they're looking for, what their dreams are, what their desires are, what their vision is, and I'm helping them clear away the junk so they can actually focus and see their vision, and then offering them that opportunity. Um, what I have here is a way and the ability for you to build totally, completely, 100% online through utilizing Facebook, and I'm going to show you how, right? So we're going to leverage your time so you can break free of that nine to five. There is a way that you could do this. You know what? I can actually share with you how somebody else in our company part-time was able to do this. Are you open to checking out a video? That's it. You guys, this is sales and marketing. So we need to overcome the whole concept of, I don't want to sell, and I feel like sales are icky because you guys, I will tell you, I was like that for a really long time. Um, my father was a wicked, wicked salesman. He owned his own business. Unfortunately, it went bankrupt because Microsoft was born, and my dad was sitting large, and, and I remember I was about you know 10 years old, and we had everything, and then like overnight, you guys, we lost everything it was one of the most stressful times in my household I can't even believe my parents kept their marriage together but it taught me a lot right but my father rebuilt everything and the way he was able to rebuild stuff is because he loved sales and what he loved about sales and this is one thing I've learned from my my dad I've learned many things from my dad and my parents but one thing is the reason why he loves sales so much and he was so good at it is because he was so awesome at building relationships, you guys. So when he lost his, his, I won't swear, when he lost his, in case kiddos are watching, his butt, the way he was able to rebuild, and yeah, it didn't get quite as successful as what he did with when he owned his own business, his brick and mortar business, but um, the way that people were able to give him opportunities and he rebuilt his sales portfolio was because of the relationships that he built. It's the same thing now that I'm seeing now that I transition companies from my last company to my new company. Um, people will always watch you. People will always see what you're doing. That's why you want to put your best foot forward. And you guys, I have bad days just like everybody else, but you know what? I don't broadcast them. I just do my do and I just don't, I just don't broadcast it. Um, but if I am having a bad day, I'll be vulnerable. I'll say, you know what? It's been a crappy week. You guys, last week was a crappy week. But I don't, I don't air out my dirty laundry, if that makes sense. So you want to put your best foot forward. But the reason why I have so many people now, like especially now reaching out, is because I built relationships. And there are a lot of unhappy people out there. There are a lot of unhappy network marketers out there. And so guess what? I am public. I am showing them what I'm creating over here and I'm having fun, keyword fun, doing it. And so is my team. Okay, so what do you think is happening? Because I left my last company. I have people reaching out to me now left and right. Like, what are you doing? Like, they want to join the fun. And, and so I share that with you because, again, when you do it right, you really don't have to sell. Because what all sales is, is really just, like I said, grabbing people emotionally and then putting them somewhere. Putting them somewhere that matches their, the solution that you have matches what they need. I have many solutions, you guys. And I'm sure, do you guys have many solutions? Let me know. I'm sure if you sat and thought about it, all of you on here have many solutions. You guys, we're complex human beings, right? Like, I don't have just one solution. I could help people over here with network marketing. I could help people over here um, and offer them coaching. I could help people over here and offer them uh, affiliate marketing. Like, there's many things that you guys, I'm sure, can offer them. Maybe you're a health and wellness expert, but you're also building a business, so you could help them in many areas, okay? Get creative. Break outside of your comfort zone. Break outside of your box. 
So all I'm sharing with you is that you have many solutions. And so part of the sales process is just offering them the solution and seeing if they want it. And that's it. And having zero, zero, you guys, zero emotional attachment to that outcome. That is another thing I got very, 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 very good at is that either they want it or they don't. And I'm going to go on with my day and still be as happy as I am. Okay. And I really, really, really share that with all of you because I know that so many people can get in their own way and in their own head because they might feel like I'm not making any headway. Everyone's saying no to me. Well, look at your approach. How are you approaching it? You know, I had somebody on my team and she reached out to me the other day and she was showing me this blanket scripted message that we, she was um, connecting with people inside of a group. And once they raised their hand and like, I want to learn more, she was sending them a blanket message like yay long. Okay. And she showed it to me and I'm like, why are you sending this to them? And she's, you know, she's like, well, I just thought like, this is what we send. And anyway, so so I educated, right? That's what we are in the business of doing, you guys. It's just educating people. That's what sales is. It's just educating people and then getting a decision, collecting the decision. That's it. If people don't want to collect my solution or my decision, I don't, it's okay. I don't care, right? I'm still going to be here. I'm still doing the do. Um, and so I said, okay, we need to back this up. We need to forget this message. And what you want to do is just connect with them and have like no agenda. I know they want to know more because they raise their hand, but let's not pounce. Okay. Have you guys ever pounced on people? If you've pounced, I want you to be honest with me and put pounce and drop it into the comments. Say pounce. You guys, I'll even type it in. I pounced. I'm going to type it in. Pounce right here. Pounce. Yeah. Hello. How do you spell pounce? Pounce. I pounce like a kangaroo over people. Like when I first got started in network marketing, I was like, oh my God, it was like the best thing since sliced bread, right? <laughs> so I'm like, why can't you see this? It's so awesome. Um, yeah. And so I quickly realized I had to stop pouncing and I had to start asking more questions and, and, and start listening more and, and start stop pouncing and educating people and then just collecting a decision. So anyways, um, I worked with her, we, we scrapped all of that. And I said, this is what you're going to do. You're going to message these people and you're going to ask them a question. When they ask you a question, you follow up with a question and get them to the point of where they're like, Oh my gosh, what is it that you have? I want to learn more about it. So what is it? So what is it? Right? We want to get them to that point where they're like dying to see what it is. All right, so basically that's it. My objection here today um, was, or my intention here today was to show up and just offer you this training because I know um, it has been a, a problem for a lot of people, especially inside of the network marketing space, especially when you're promoting yourself. Okay, that's a big thing because I, I have a lot of people say, well, I'm not special. I'm not unique. I don't have a message to offer. Um, what is my unique message? What is my what is my gift? What's you know that brilliant thing of, about me? You guys, oh my gosh, you have so many amazing, brilliant things about you, and you just need to stop because we live in such a busy, crazy world, and we're looking like every which way. We're like this. We're like, oh my gosh, I need to be over here. I need to be over here. What's she doing? What's this person doing? Why are they posting this? Um, instead of looking internally at what is your um, gift? What is your passion? What the hell do you want to talk about? Guess what? Not everyone wants to talk about sales and marketing and network marketing, but I'm talking about it because it's super important in our profession to teach this, right? Um, and so again, I'm repelling those I don't need to attract to me because I don't need to attract everybody. And I don't want to look and see what everybody else is, is necessarily doing. I need to show up as Julie and I need to give you all of me when I'm doing my trainings. Okay. Do you guys understand? Just like you need to show up as you. What is it? What is your gift? Are you good at fitness? Are you good at meal planning? Are you good with uh, sharing recipes? Are you good with 
helping people overcome mindset, their barriers, their limiting doubts, their beliefs? Are you into personal development? Are you into law of attraction and you want to teach law of attraction to people? Like, what is it? Are you good at, um, uh, I'm, there's a million things. There's a million things. Are you good at, uh, are you a runner, right? Like start a running group. Like what is it that you're good at? Build the relationships, guys. And relationships will evolve into making sales at some point. Keyword, you guys, some point. All right? Don't worry about the conversion now. Too many people are worried about the conversion up here. Conversion comes over here. Okay? There are steps that you need to take between here and converting them into a sale or joining or your product or what have you. All right? So let's be patient and let's just let's just do what we need to do to get them from here to here. Okay? You guys, I hope this was helpful. If it was helpful, I would really appreciate you sharing. And yes, a lot of people have scroll. I know. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. If you found value in this, please like and share as always. If you are new to me, uh, go to createsuccesswithjulie.com and plug in your email and grab one of uh, my freebies. They're under featured products, just FYI. I have a ton of free resources there. I'm actually in the middle of redoing my website right now. Um, it's only taken like forever. And so I, I need to get it done, right? So there's been other pressing things beside that. Anyways, you guys, I hope you found value. I love you guys. Be blessed. And also, oh, I have a really cool announcement coming up. So I've had um, a closed group. And it was a closed group to just product purchasers. And I'm thinking of actually opening it up to everybody. It's still going to be a closed group, but you have to join. Um, but it's going to be fun. And so it's Network Marketing Moms Gone Wild. And um, so that is coming soon. To a theater near you. No, it's not a theater. <laughs> I'm joking. Uh, to a Facebook page near you. And um, I just thought it would be a really good um, opportunity to um, have us like-minded mom entrepreneurs, network marketers to come together and kind of blow off the steam and, and have fun inside this group. So just a little tidbit for all of you here on. And if you want to join, um, it will be coming soon. So I'll make a, an official announcement. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to end the broadcast. Thanks for hanging with me, and I'll see you all real soon. Bye.